It's, it's very cute. <laughs> Mert thinks that I should give my hoodie. You should. Charlotte just said she's walking in. She's like, "Oh, I like the hoodie," and I was like, "Oh, well, I can get you one for Christmas if you want. You really want one?" Yeah. And then, yeah, that's give great. Her that one. You <laughs> no. Give her you that one. You should. Same. No, and then I said, "No, it'll be it'll be baggy on her, and because it's baggy on me." And you should. That is my eleven-year-old thinks it's cute. Okay, you're almost 40 years You should give it to me so I can wear it tomorrow at school, all right? It glows in the dark. <laughs> it has ponies on it. You should give it to me. Where are you going? This is my vlogmas hoodie. Please give it to I got, me. I can run this. Please. Please. I Day. challenge you. The answer is no. This is empower mine. Empower yourself with adult things. Can you please give that to me? This is adult. This, I bought this I in really a store for that. adults. I really want that sweater. Close in the dark. Oh, look how cute she looks over there in her bed. She goes and she's got a pillow. <laughs> She's so cute. And then you got this Simba over here. Oh, wow. He looks really cute right now. This is like kind of shocking. I'm not giving this hoodie up. This is my hoodie. I this is, I knew it was mine the second I set my eyes on it. My hoodie. God, my socks didn't fall off while I was sleeping. That happens every night. Thank God. That means we're going to have a good day. Oh, Mert, where are you going? No. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm not bothering her. I'm just trying to vlog. This isn't your sweatshirt. This is it mine. is. No, this is mine. No, it's Parker's sweatshirt. It looks great on me. Look at this. I got she took my sweatshirt. <laughs> I got this on tour.com and the model is an adult. It's, I have proof. I have receipts. I'm going to put it on the screen. No, you're not. This is, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm going to do it. You know what? <laughs> and it's going to make a point that this is for adults. Right, no one's pictured wearing it on the website. It's just a picture of this sweatshirt. But it's insinuated that it's for adults because tour.com is like in a you know it's not kid sizes so that's why i bought it she's too young for something like this are you kidding me how because <laughs> it's the og my little pony i don't care well it's different you gotta give it to me it's glow in the dark no. <laughs> it doesn't actually it, do, it doesn't actually glow oh it does a little bit <laughs> yeah it's literally sharp sure sure sure. she stole it from you guys i didn't steal it I bought it, and I received it. It's mine. My I hoodie. Like, literally stole it from her. Like, come on, though. Look how cute that hoodie is. Her. There she goes. Why did I, why did I say that about my sweatshirt, though? I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's oh. my sweatshirt. No, it's not. Yeah. It's Charlotte's sweater. Maybe it's it's a pony. It's not. He's a baby over this. He's a little ears sticking out. Good afternoon there, that's your Simba. All right, I guess I can't wear the My Little Pony every day of Vlogmas. It'd be a little ridiculous, so I'm gonna put a cozy waffle knit on and I'm gonna make Amber's very famous butter parmesan sketty. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to get myself together a little bit <laughs> before I uh, record. Honestly, I'm so nervous to try this recipe because I feel like I'm not going to be able to do it justice. Just put the noodles and the butter and the parmesan together so artfully. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to compete, but I'm going to do my humble best to recreate it and to veganize it. Guys, my hair, I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of befuddled about it since I, since I cut it, so I'm just going to keep leaving it up. Actually, by the way, I'm just putting a little bit of the Pacifica on my lips. I'm a year, it's a must. You know, that's right, I've got the Wee Dad refresher spray. Let's see what this does. Water, a little refresh. At times with curly hair, all you need is a little water. I think I need a little more than that today. Energize it with this energizing spray. God, I love how this smells. It's very floral. I'm one of those. I like floral scents. You either like them or you don't. Slowly learning what to do with these pieces. <laughs> I 
kind of like just like refreshing the curl and leaving them down and I tie the rest of my hair up. Okay, I keep those separate and then I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tie my hair up because it's just what we're doing today, okay? So oh guys, maybe I like them to one side. I just don't, I eventually gonna learn to love them and I better dang because these are gonna take a while to grow out. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little hungry. We gotta get these noodles cooking. I'm gonna add some of this unsalted butter. Right, and then she salt. Adds, adds butter, Great garlic Parmesan salt. Cheese. Tapatio, and it's gonna be great, I promise. This is the pasta I'm using. Barilla, oh, sh elbow. I don't have these elbow noodles, these specific elbow noodles, so guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Damn it, guys, I only have salted butter. I'm gonna do my best, okay? First, you get some water boiling. So, but not too much water because Amber Lynn didn't use that much water. So once that's boiling, you put the pasta in. I'm like Amber, it's gotta be al dente. Like this says eight to 10 minutes to cook, which means I'm gonna cook it about eight and a half minutes because I want it to be al dente. Not too al dente, but pretty al dente. I'm probably wondering, gee, why are you only using that much water? That's what I was wondering when I was watching Amber Lynn cook, but you know what? I trust the chef. I'm going to assemble the other ingredients. I got garlic salt. And do you guys mind if I put some oregano in there too? Like, would I get canceled if I did that? Okay, I got some earth balance in there. Some follow your heart parmesan. Garlic salt. And she was very sure to mention to add that. And oregano was my own addition. No, guys. Please don't tell Amber about the vegetables I'm having with this. <laughs> This, this actually made a lot of noodles. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat all of that, but let's see, I still have to give it a taste test. I didn't put proper hot sauce or anything on it. You know, I honestly haven't tasted it yet. Let me, uh, put this on. Guys, I just assumed it needed some oregano or something. <laughs> I love this. I put this on everything. So good. Okay, well first, JK, I know what cauliflower tastes like. All right. Mm, listen. I take back everything I ever said about Amberlynn's cooking. That's what's up. I recommend to the chef that she adds some oregano or any other seasoning besides garlic salt for the love of God, because it tastes, <laughs> it tastes really good. I don't know what to say other than that. Like this is really impressive. I mean, who would have thought that putting butter and Parmesan cheese on noodles would taste good? So I know I have a problem. I know adding some vegetables to a meal is pretty reckless. I just don't know how to pump the brakes. You know, but I have a problem. I just love vegetables. I know this is probably just my addiction talking, but it's almost like a meal is, is more satisfying if I have a little vegetable with it. It's bizarre. That's, you know, I don't I don't have the knowledge that Amberlynn has about nutrition, so I'm sure she would have some kind of explanation about that. I think I need to start focusing on the other food groups like Parmesan. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. It's uh, 5.35 p.m. I don't have a closing clip. So 